Hello, and welcome to Key Factor Community. Today's video on EGBCA is going to be about roles. All right, let's hop over to the admin web where we manage roles. So in admin web, we've got the section under system functions, roles, and access rules. So roles are how we define who can do what within EGBCA, such as can I come in and create a CA, or can I issue this certificate for and entity, can I revoke it? Can I view audit logs, look at the validators or the key bindings, things like that. That's what we do with roles. So we'll start out by making a new one called auditor. So type in auditor here and do add. And let's start over here with the members. So members are defined by an attribute with that from the certificate DN as well as the serial number, which is the default that it does select. And then you can also do a subject alt name of email or UPN, the full DN. And then we've got these other options at the bottom, which this is typically used in the super admin to be able to run the CLI. And then you've got these public access tokens. The public access tokens are handy, for instance, if you wanted to have a certificate or an entity profile configured that has an approval profile within the cert profile and allow users to come in unauthenticated to the RA and request a certificate, which would then go into the approval workflow to be approved. So that's where these can come in handy to allow a little bit of self-service through the RA web. So we'll leave this, let's set this actually to common name right here and we'll call, we'll, we'll use management CA for this and we'll say auditor for the match value and we can do add. And then we'll go over to access rules. So the access rules, we have some defined templates already like the auditor template, the CA administrator, RA admin, super admin, which we are, which is the God mode in here and supervisors. So essentially each role has a set of permissions that come in. So for instance, auditor, doesn't have anything selected, but if we select the all CAs and all entity profiles and validators, that means with the way these permissions are in this role, this auditor can come in and look at everything, but he won't have any permissions to make any configuration changes. So we'll do save on this. Then we want to go back to the roles management. Let's make another, let's make an RA. So we'll just call this RA, do add. And then we'll go right into access rules. Let's start out with the art administrators. So it has a bunch of defaults here already selected. And for instance, I wanna just say he can manage management CA and the sub CA, and I want him to be able to manage these two profiles, the TLS client and server, and then he can do audit log. So we'll click save. But now what happens if I wanted him to be able to do a little bit more. Well, that's where advanced mode comes in. And you can come over to this side and configure further edits to the role. So for instance, we could do allow view CA. And then we could also do another one down here to maybe view services. So we could see those. And then from there, we could scroll all the way down and do save. So in preparation for an upcoming video of using Istio with the EGBCA, we can go back over and do a cert profile. We're going to make a new one called RA admins. So use this and we're going to actually, let's cut that and then copy or clone the client profile. So we're going to use this guy, we'll create from template, and then we'll go edit the RA. So we'll edit this guy. We can leave the elliptic curve. Actually, we'll switch to RSA because we want to issue this off the management CA. And we'll just do, let's say you go 2040, 4096, one year is fine. We can leave that. We don't need key encipherment since it's only a client auth cert. These are all good. And then we're going to say management CA for this one. 
we save. And then let's go over to the end entity profiles and we're going to clone this one and we'll call it RA administrator. And we'll click the clone selected. So let's go edit this guy real quick. We can leave those, the key factor community, this is fine here. And then we just want to update this guy to be our RA admin profile. And we're going to say management CA and Oops, management CA there and management CA here. We're also going to allow PEM in here as well. We'll do save. All right. And then we'll go back to our roles. And let's add one more called RA Kubernetes. Okay. We'll start out with the access, the members, and we'll do management CA. We'll set this to common name. And we'll call this guy the K8RA. Copy that so we've got it in the buffer. Add. And then we're going to go edit access rules. We'll change it to the template of RA administrators. And we're going to say he can issue certs off of my sub CA. And we're going to limit him to just the short lived. And we'll click save. Then we'll hop over to the RA web and we're going to make a new request with our new template for the RA administrator. We'll do by the CA, we'll do a 2048 and we're going to type in the K RA. We'll make the same thing for the username. We can just do foo123 for the password. And then we're going to do download PEM. We do never save. All right. So with that, we can switch back over to here. And this has saved. And now we'll be ready to use that role to issue the cert. But there's one last thing we need to check. We need to come over to the system config protocol, protocol configuration. And we need to make sure that we have the certificate management service enabled. Because this will be how we're going to issue certs with the CSR API container in an upcoming video. So with that, we are all set. We've got some roles now. And if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below on the video. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video we do. Take care.